Hey guys, the entire line of Accord products are definitely some of my favorite smart home accessories. Not only are they very reliable, but they are extremely affordable. They all work with and circle around the Accord hub, which by the way is required. But with this hub, most of these get exposed to your favorite smart home platform, HomeKit. Today, we're gonna to check out Accor's brand new smart home accessory, the Accor Smart Switch. Not only do they have the one that requires a neutral wire, but they also have one that has no requirement for a neutral wire. Today, we're gonna to check out both of these, install both of them, and see what their differences are. Let's do it. Welcome, friends. If this is your first time here, my name is Eric. If you're into smart home automation, especially HomeKit, you're here in the right place. Today's video is a part of my HomeKit series and for full disclosure Accor did send all these products to me for a full honest review but if I don't like something I'm definitely going to let you know. I'm also going to leave affiliate links down below and a list to my full pros and cons list on my website so definitely check that out for more information. So like I mentioned, the Accord Switch does come in two different versions. It's actually four versions, depending on how many um, switches you want into the, the outlet. They have a neutral wire required version and a no neutral wire required version. Both of them come in a single switch version and a double switch version. I'm only going to be showing you double switch. Um, there's really not much difference between the double and the single except for an extra wire. Um, but if you do need a double, it's really nice that Cora has that product available. because so I really haven't seen any other home kit products that have double switches in a hard wired design. The only color they currently have is white for all their switches. I'm not sure if they're going to do other colors. I hope they do. Um, they only sent me a double switch, and the only double switch I have in the entire house is in the kitchen, and it happens to be black, so I did this. <laughs> the box is the switch itself, a faceplate, which is a two-piece faceplate, which I'll show you how to install that in just a few moments. You have a couple wire nuts, depending on how many wires you need to install. If you have a neutral wire, you have an extra white wire. If you have a two-switch device, you have extra line wire, so they give you enough wire nuts for all those. A couple screws, and that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into the install. Before you do anything with power, make sure the power is off. And if you're ever not comfortable with what you're doing, please seek professional assistance. And always double check to make sure the power is actually off. Go ahead, remove the switch, remove the wires, test the wires, make sure there's no power. And if you cannot identify the line wire, make sure you cap all the wires, go back down, turn the power on, and then identify that hot wire or hot wire, depending on how many switches you have. The, this one is a double switch. It's the only one they sent me, but I'm installing this in a single switch outlet. So one wire from the actual switch, I'm just going to cap, and the top switch is going to be active where the bottom switch won't do anything. Now, if you have a neutral wire, that's going to be a white bundle of wires. Most likely, you're going to have to attach that neutral wire, attach the ground wire, attach the load and the line wires, and put them all back in, turn the power back on, and you're done. Now let's go ahead and connect this to the app. Once you're in the Accor app, if you're brand new, set up account, do all that process, you know. Um, hit the plus in the top right corner to add the device. Select what type of device you have. This is a double switch with no neutral. Hold down the button for about 10 seconds until you start seeing the blue blinking lights. In a couple seconds, it's gonna register in the app. Go ahead and name the buttons or the switches, whatever you, if it's kitchen light, bedroom light, just name it, whatever it is. Assign it to a room and that's it. You're done. It is now in the core app and you can control either light, either the top button or the bottom button. And this is what it looks like in the core app. And to get into HomeKit, you might have to do a name synchronization, which is really easy in the core settings. Once you do that, go over to HomeKit you'll find it in your default room, which in my particular case, it's Amy's office. You're gonna have to move rooms for some reason. The room does not come over. Move into the desired room, and now you can fully control it, including Siri. Bare bedroom. Done. 
You can also set this up with Lady A and Mr. G if you want to, which I've done a review video on their Quora Hub, which I'll link in the top right corner. You can see how I did it. And for those who are wondering, yes, you can reprogram the switch to other HomeKit accessories. So the top switch here is to the light in the room, which is hardwired. The bottom one, remember I capped, but I can actually reprogram that through HomeKit to control other HomeKit accessories in the house. Now you might be asking me, what is the difference between the two? Of course, if you have no neutral wires, you have to go with the no neutral version. But if you do have a neutral wire, you can still go with the no neutral version. And if it's cheaper, you can save a few bucks but you do miss out on a couple of features the first minor difference with the neutral wire version is it can be a zigbee repeater what that means is that if you have other zigbee products in your house this can help extend that range if you have a smaller house or medium-sized house you're not going to need this but if you do have a larger house this is something that you might want to consider but most people are not going to need it and they don't even know that it's in there the second difference is energy monitoring if you want to see how much energy you're using through this switch you're definitely going to have to get this version you do spend an extra couple bucks for that feature if you need it great if not definitely go with the uh, no neutral wire version and save a couple bucks I've been using the switch for a couple weeks now. I've had no issues whatsoever, except for the one that I totally messed up and spray painted myself. It's my own issue. Um, sometimes the button gets stuck in and goes into reset mode and drops out of HomeKit and their Quora app. I just have to read add back in. I think it's just some spray paint that's stuck in on the side and I think over time that would just wear off and it should work just fine. So I do recommend that Quora makes other colors because uh, white doesn't work for everybody. Also, think the price is a little bit much for a Zigbee switch, especially when you account that you have to buy the hub, which is another 40, uh, I think it was 50 bucks. Um, there's Wi-Fi switches out there that are in the $40 price range and don't require a hub. So a little bit pricey for a Quora, um, but overall, I do like it. I like that there's a version that requires no neutral wire. If you guys don't need the energy monitoring, definitely go for the cheaper one, I think is the one with no neutral. Um, and if you don't have a neutral wire, you gotta go with that one anyways. But otherwise, there's not much difference. Um, really, they're pretty much the exact same product except for the energy monitoring. If you're wondering why my studio is a little bit different today, is because I am also reviewing the Core Cube, which will be my next video. But I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek in what this thing can do. Let me just turn off my backdrop really quick. All right, that is off. And now with a little double tap, the G turns on with a flip 90 degrees. The background turns on with a flip of a 180. The purple light lamp turns on and with a push, this light turns on. And with a magic shake, they all turn off. If you guys want to see how we did that, definitely make sure you are a subscriber to this channel. If you want to see other HomeKit related products and reviews, definitely check out that video right there. And I will see you on next video. Thanks for watching.